What's going on everybody? This is always back with Autodesk Revit Essential Training Tutorial. So in this video we're going to look at how can we add doors and windows to our drawing. So I've got a plan here and I'm going to add some door and windows to my plan. So go to your architectural tab, click on door and you can select different kinds of door. Right now I've only got one kind of door which is single flush. Well this is good enough for inside but when you're doing a 3d modeling as well so you need some fancy doors so i'm going to show you a good source that way you can download different kinds of door for your rabbit so first of all what we do is i'm going to go to one of the website um, this website called www.arcat.com so in the in this website you need to go to cad and bim and look for the resources all right so now I'm on the page right now where I can download different kinds of door. I've got like a few different types of doors here. So now what I'm going to do, I want to select one door which is going to be a double door for our entry. So how to download them, just right click to this link which is which says 2014 and right click and save as link. And then it will browse to your computer and now you have to select that. I've already downloaded those two doors so I'll show you how you can load that to Revit. I've got that door there and the next door what I want to add is I'm going to select this door, door hardware common single two doors right so I want to right click save link as and then I will save that to US Imperial so the, the part you should be giving is C drive program data Autodesk RVT 2016 in your libraries and select US Imperial and then save that so I've got two kinds of door there and let's see if we need some more doors so I'm gonna select one of these doors as well save as link and then just save that alright so now I'm gonna go back to my Revit program and now the first door we're gonna add is we're gonna select that simple door 36 by 84 inch and now how do we add that door so let's say I want to add the door about this room about here right so now as you can see that if I move my cursor a little bit down and then the door will flip actually and if I move my cursor a little bit up it will flip as well so I can see the dimension that how much distance I'm leaving from this wall so I can zoom in more and now I'm just gonna drop that there alright so dimension I'm having is about I'm just gonna drop it there and now I'm gonna go click on my modify command and select that door and now I can specify how much distance I have to leave here so I'll click all this and now here I'm gonna give about 4 inch well the default um, dimension set is to feet so I have to type 0 and then spacebar and then 4.5 I'll give alright so now we got our door done one more thing I want to show you here is that you can flip your doors on the both sides and you can use these icons. Alright, so now let's add a few more doors here. I'm just going to skip um, that door and I'm going to select my door command again. Alright, so now let's say you are trying to add a door here. Alright, so down on the left as you can see there is some um, command which says click on the wall to place a door and spacebar to flip the door instant left to right so if I type my spacebar right now it will flip as you can see that the door actually flipped so I'm just gonna drop one door here I'm just gonna maximize that and that's done and we need one door here on this side I'm gonna press spacebar again I'm just gonna drop that door there and one door about here press spacebar again and just drop it there and you can change the dimension later on so that's not a problem all right so now we got one door about here press spacebar to flip done one door about here done so as you can see that compared to autocad this program is very easy to use and you can make a rough sketch in no time all right so now we got those doors done now I'm going to add that door what I downloaded from that website. So what I do for that is I'm going to go and select my door command again. And here in the modify tab, you've got this 
command load family so click on that and now you can search for that command so if you can search for that door now so i'm gonna go to my us imperial so here i've got these kind of doors so well i need to remember what was the name of the door so i'm just gonna add this dbl door entry one so i'm gonna double click on this and a Revit is going to load that door for me into the program all right so we got that door there as you can see that in the properties panel and i'm gonna click on this arrow button and here i've got a few different kinds of dimensions here i've got steel door wood door in 2d plan you won't find any difference but when you go to your 3d view you will find the difference between wood and steel all right so now we'll select this three by eight and now i'm gonna take that door and i'm just going to drop that about here I can always change the dimension and here you got these buttons as well to flip the door so if I click on them and as you can see that we can flip the doors so I'm just gonna keep that inside because my door is gonna open inside all right so we're done with the doors now it is very simple you can always use your modify commands I've done a video for this so if you don't know how to use this command check that out check out my video for these um, modify commands all right so now we're gonna add some windows now so to add a window click on this window and let's find out how many kinds of windows we got so we got only one window right now so I'm gonna go and find some windows from that website and I will download those windows and once I'm done with downloading I'll come back and I'll show you how you can apply windows it's pretty much the same as applying the door but let's have a look all right, so I've downloaded three windows now. So I'm gonna go to my window command and I'm gonna click on load family. And now I have to go back to my US Imperial and here we have two kinds of windows right now. So I'm gonna select this. I'm gonna click on this window command and let's have a look how many kinds of windows we got. So I've downloaded that window and down there we got another window there. So I'm gonna select this one and let's say I want to apply the window about in the middle about here and then I will apply about here All right, and then we got the same window for this one on this corner and on this corner and there's another window that will go about here that's done All right, so let's look at the properties of the windows I'm just gonna zoom in I'll click on it as you can see that in this window we've got two kinds of dimension so you can specify the dimension on from this wall to window so I will type about three feet and then it will keep that um, window from that wall to window which would be three feet so I can change this window exactly three feet Autodesk Revit is pretty smart I've changed that window to three feet and it actually and it actually changed those dimensions for this window automatically all right so you can change the flip as well and that's it for this tutorial and remember you can download different kinds of window from that website so check that out it's very good source for Revit and download those windows and doors and you can use them in your drawing all right guys thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next video be sure to subscribe and if there is any question leave leave a comment down below and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.